What's up guys? Welcome to the Sizzle Offshore. We're out filming another adventure right now on the Megan Darcy clean the boat. But in the video you're about to see, Darcy and Megan go into our fishing, we catch snook, and we put Megan on our first shark. It's pretty exciting. Check it out. Perfect. He's coming out to the deep. That's a nice fish, okay? We're gonna take our time with that. Are you getting some line or no? Oh my God, I just got hit. Oh my gosh, I just got, oh, he just broke me off. Yeah, that was a huge freaking snook. Just broke me right off. All right, you're gonna keep your line tight. Let me just clear you. I saw it right there. Keep reeling. I see him, I see him. And I just had a huge break off. I don't even know, I saw a huge flash. I, I think it was a big old snook. You got a snook, he's coming in all sideways. Beautiful, he's barely hooked. Awesome! We got a snook in the boat. They're biting. He's gonna be okay. We're just gonna flip this right out. That's a weird spot that it hooked. Yeah, when, you, you, when you're stuff. trolling, like it, it, he probably did get hooked in the mouth and then it just came out. There we go. Hold him tight, he's green. Healthy, healthy snook. Show him to the camera. Awesome. So she just caught, she, we just got a blow up on that fish. He's really lively, good to go. And then I was reeling in another line and it came right by the boat and ate it. Took a smoking run and broke me, every, broke everything off. So, and I got a big flash. It might've been a giant snook. So let's get him in the water. All right, let's release Megan's fish. Awesome job. That fish is gonna be fine. There he goes. Oh no, you didn't let him go yet. Yeah. Is he grabbing your, lip, your thumb? Yeah. All right, so let's get your thumb out of there and let him go. Push him away from the boat. Good job. All right, let's get some more fish. Time for some shark fishing. Couldn't get the uh, big fish to bite again, which annoys me a little bit, but oh well, it's part of the game. So we got some frozen baits with us. Was hoping to catch some fresh baits, and but it's no big deal. Sharks kind of like whatever. So I brought my Bubba Blade pliers with me today and I actually have like a little foam board here so I don't cut my sea deck. And I'm just gonna cut off a nice chunk of this Jack Craval here and also a piece of this Bonita. And we're gonna try and put out baits. We got chum in the water already and we got an outgoing tide. The water's moving really good. That's what we like for sharks. Um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and send out these chunks and see what happens and hopefully get Megan her first shark ever. So that's probably a good size for the sharks around this area. They're not, there's sharks in the intercoastal, but they're not as big as you would find offshore. So a little chunk is perfect. Okay, we're gonna send out this piece of Anita here. Got a Mustad hook, shark hook. This is a heavy duty eight aught Mustad circle hook and inline. And I'm gonna show you really quick how to rig these, but basically you wanna, the, on a Bonita, the white part of the skin is actually the toughest. And when you go to put it in, you actually, everybody automatically wants to put it on the soft side of the meat here and go through, but that's actually not the correct way you want to do it. And I actually learned this from the guys that fish with on Controlled Chaos, but you want to put it up towards the tip. You don't want to bury it down here because your hook set, you'll more than likely not catch the fish. You want to have the hook exposed at all times. And instead of doing it the conventional way through the meat, you want to go through the skin side first. And then any fish that comes and picks it up, the barb is totally exposed and he's going to get hooked. Sizzle is reviewing her paperwork in order to tag the next shark if it's big enough, hopefully. But I want to tell you guys, at least especially for the Patreons, I am killing it, or Darcy and I are killing it on the lens function over there, which is like IG stories. So check that out if you're a Patreon. And yes. I'm also going to put specifics, details on the gear and the rigs we're using to catch the sharks on the, on the Patreon uh, today as well. Check that out. Yeah, please check it out. And we might have to catch a shark right now. He's on it again. He's not pulling drag though. Yeah. He's swimming with something swimming with it. Yeah. Real, real, catch up to that fish. Catch up. It's slack, it's slack right now. Get it tight, get it tight. Come over here. Yeah. Follow it, follow it, follow it. Oh, Don't get pulled in. <laughs> Megan's caught her little shark. Aw, it's so cute. We got Megan's shark. Okay, how do we bring it to the boat? We're gonna flip them in. Okay. We can move the knives. Do you want to flip them up now? 
We're gonna flip them like a fish. Follow them. There you go. <laughs> That's smart. Woohoo! Shark in the boat! They ain't got her shark. Pretty sure. Megan got her shark. Control you, control you, control you. They're strong, even the little guys. You just gotta hold them really tight. But it looks like, I don't know. It's a black tip, isn't it? It's a black tip? It's, hard to tell it's always hard to tell when yeah, it's no small. no black tips, so I mean it's a black tip. Yeah, you're right, it is, you're right. It's a black tip <laughs> shark. So Megan got our first juvenile oh, black yeah. tip shark baby. Awesome. This one, unfortunately, is too small to tag. Um, they gotta be at least three foot long, and this guy is just a little on the small side, so we're not even gonna mess with him. We're gonna get the circle hook out. Perfectly in the corner of the mouth, I'll show you here in one second. All right. Perfect job. You get it out from under. Yep. yep. All right, so you're gonna hold him just like this. Nice little black tip going home. Let's just get him in the water, put him head first, and then uh, kind of just like hang on to his tail for one second and then let go. You don't want him to bite you. There he goes! <laughs> Those sharks, man. You, you would be surprised, but he put up a good fight for his size, and then he just took off like a bullet out of hell, so that was awesome. Nice job. Yeah! We got Megan her shark. Yeah, That's awesome. Let's see if we can get lines back out and get another one real one quick. More. But we had two simultaneous bites on both rods go down, so I have a feeling there's a lot of sharks in the area. I was hoping for one a little bigger, but we got her a shark. That's what counts. All right, guys, that's a wrap from the Puddin' Production Studio here. That was actually Megan's last video you're gonna see her in for quite a while. She went to Spain on a mission trip, so I wish her a lots of luck in the comments below. She loves to read them. And of course, we're gonna have a lot more offshore adventures. We got the offshore boat going, we're going out with Control Chaos tomorrow, and now that the weather's changed and daylight savings time, we're just gonna be having a ball and bringing you all the best fishing information. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some more shark videos up here for you guys to check out. And until our next adventure, follow your dreams and keep on catching. Dossie's cleaning the boat.